morning, everyone. Welcome to Duro and Yoga. Close your eyes. Just take a couple of breaths here. Arrive. Listen to your breath. And feel your broad body here, grounded at the present moment. See if you can find gratitude to your breath, to your body, hopefully still feeling healthy, good, ready to move. Feel your breath going through the belly, the chest, the upper chest, and see if you can also feel the back of the body, the space between the shoulder blades fill up. Try to focus today on this expansion constantly in the spine, from the feeling of the belly coming in, the Uriyana Bandha to support us, to the chest lifted, and to filling up between the shoulder blades so we do not overarch the back. With every exhale, we remain tall and we simply release the shoulders, tension in the face more breaths like this, feeling how much you can expand, how tall you can get, how much you can release with the exhales, finding softness, ease. Stiram Sukhamasana recommends Patanjali, steadiness and with ease or practice. Palms together in front of the heart, we do the Ashtanga invocation. Inhale. Vande Guru Nam Chara Narabinde Sandashita Swatma Sukha Bhavote Nishreya se jangari payamane samsara hala hala moha shantye abhavu purushakara shanka chakra siddharinam sahasra shirsam shwetam pranamami patanjali today, hands and knees, please, moving gracefully, consciously, getting to move your hips in circles, kind of like cat-cow, but with a little extra movement. We call this delicious. Lots of movement, hips, shoulders, head, neck, warming up the spine, allowing it to get more fluid. Just listening to the sound of the breath. Today we're going to move like the body, I normally say water, and I feel like it's a nice, good quality olive oil, right? It moves, it flows, but it's not too liquid. You still have to move with awareness. You can't rush the transition. Back to neutral, walk the hands a bit forward into downward puppy. Lower the head down towards the ground. If it reaches the ground, you can... Bring the chin down to the ground. Let your chest be heavy. Walk the hands to the top of the mat. Tuck the toes under. Reach back down with facing down. Ahead if you'd like, bend the knee at a time. Remember, you're definitely not moving through air. There's a bit of movement through water. Maybe it's like olive oil, so you can still move. But you can't rush it too much. Practice awareness with every moment. When we're present right now with our practice with the yoga mat, nothing else exists. Our mind is right here. 
listening to the sound of the breath. Root the left ear. Again, as you breathe, try to feel the belly, the chest, the back, elongate, then elongate into the right leg. Reach it up. Go ahead, bend the right knee, open the hips, and take a few circles with your right ankle. And to the other direction. Straightening the right leg behind you. As you exhale, knee to the nose. Slow and steady movement. Inhale, back to the sky. Exhale, right knee across to the left. Inhale, back. Exhale, right knee over to right elbow. If you feel ninja today, bend the elbows, reach forward. Inhale, back. Slowly, and this is harder, bring the right foot between the hands. Lower the left knee down to the lower knees. Even as you come up, right? There's a sense that you can't rush the hand movement. Breathing. Lift the belly, lift the chest, relax the shoulders. If it's too much, you can keep the hands on the ground or the knee. If you like this intensity, great. Some of us even like to clasp the hands behind the back, mind them to the ground. doesn't really matter. It really feels good for you to feel the psoas of the left leg stretching. Feel the belly lifting. And you feel again the breath, how it expands all of your spine. Remember to breathe a bit into the shoulder blades so you do not collapse completely into the lower back. Consciously bringing your hands down to the neck. Step the right foot back to plank. Hold for a moment in plank. Some of you will need to lower the knees. Some of you will join me for a little extra warm-up. Right arm taps left shoulder. Left arm taps left shoulder. The right hand, left hip. Left hand, right hip. And then keep going. Right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. Advanced students, please try to breathe while you're doing this. For a moment, engage, feel the belly lift in, feel the heels moving a bit back. Fill up with your breath once more between the shoulder blades, gaze a bit forward, either knees down or not, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, maybe baby cobra, maybe full upward. Stay a few breaths. If you'd like to move your head back one side and then the other, pull the chest forward and the shoulders back. Moving up the spine into downward dog. Left leg reaches up to the sky, slow and steady movement. Bend the left knee, open the hip, the circles with the ankle. And to the other direction. Straightening the left leg. Exhale, knee to the nose, shoulders forward, squeeze it up, touch your chest. Inhale back. Exhale across, inhale back. Exhale over to the left, maybe bend the elbows, inhale back. Bring the left foot between the hands, lower the right knee for a low lunge, slow and steady movement. Hips lower as much as is reasonable for you. Breath fills up the belly, the chest, and the space between the shoulders. Slowly the hands come down to the mat, step your left foot back. Plank. Your choice, hold plank for a few breaths or go with a slow motion. Exhale down. Inhale back plank. Exhale down. Really, it's okay to use the knees. Inhale up. One more. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale. 
this go down and inhale upward. Sure you know what you're seeing. Doesn't mean you need to call it by names to label it. You simply see your eyes are open, you're aware, you're present. You hear the sound of the breath, that's all there is. Tons and tons of gratitude to the experience of being in the present. Walk the feet to the front of the mat. Exhale forward. Take two breaths. All the way up. Go down to see your thumbs. Exhale, Samasthiti. Let's do warm up too. Inhale, arms up over the head. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step the right foot back. Step the left foot back. Exhale, elbows stay close to the body as you bend. Inhale, open, shine. Exhale, down we go. And the right foot forward between the hands. Activate the left leg. Stay for a moment. Reach the arms. Slow motion. Reach them forward. Coming up. Reach to the top. Bend the knee a little deeper. It's a high lunge, but we want the hips as low as can be. Hands can stay apart. That's perfectly fine. If you can keep them straight, bring them together. Sink a little deeper, couple more breaths, belly, chest, upper back, maybe even adding a little back bend. And slow motion, hands back down. Step the left foot forward, exhale, forward foot. Inhale, rise all the way up, look up, see your thumbs. Samastitihi, second side. Inhale, arms up, gaze up. Exhale, slow and steady, forward. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, left foot back, gaze stays forward. Inhale, right foot back. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward, urdhva. Exhale, downward, adho. Left foot between the hands. How are the right leg? This will help you as you come up slow, tuck the belly in. Lots of awareness. Hips are low, fingertips reach, power. Hands as close as can be while keeping them beyond straight. Eyes are soft and steady. Stiram sukha, hands steady. But you find ease, your face looks like you're in Guatemala, sitting by the lake, relaxing. And slowly down to the ground. Step the right foot forward, elongate the spine. Exhale, release, let the head fall down. Inhale, rise all the way up, see your thumbs. Exhale, slow and steady. Thanks to the heart. Sun salute, A, Surya Namaskara, A, Ye, Amin, He, Raise up. Way, exhale, forward, forward. Let the hands touch the ground, even if you're bending the knees. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or jump back, lower Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Udva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Madhva Mukha Svanasana. Breathe and spread your fingers wide on the mat. Feeling the breath, see if it can fill up between the shoulder blades, try not to collapse between the shoulder blades. Really, your arms are wrapping towards your chest. An external rotation of the shoulders. One more breath. Exhale completely. Try to inhale as you jump in length and sapta. Inhale, long spine. Ashta, exhale, forward. Ganasana. Now inhale all the way up, look up, sit down. One more. Leave them in here. Fingers up, shoulders down. Exhale, forward. Bend, look forward. Belly tucks in. Chukwadi, look 
Imagine somebody is pulling your tailbone back. And many of you have received the system, I suppose. So you can really allow your body to move in the direction as if you're feeling that assist. You gotta exhale. Sapta, look forward. Jump. Step. Master. Go. Now inhale all the way. Sounds Bend the knees. Utkatasana. We're going to go for Utkatasana Deluxe. Consider lifting the heels up. If it's too much, don't. We just offer you options. If there's room, lower the hips a bit more. Lift the heels a bit higher. Let your eyes sparkle. And maybe, 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 not everybody can do this, but you can try and stretch your lips towards the ears. See how that feels. Breathing, five. Forward, forward, slow and steady. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, down with up. Right foot forward, warrior one, beat up the muscles, slow and steady legs. Take two breaths here, sink the hips. Try to feel the floating ribs moving in. Bend in the spine. It's not like you're going to ever flatten the back. It's not overarch, hands to the heart. Let's twist to the right side. Keep the spine tall, so inhale, grow the taller. Exhale, feel the right shoulder going deep. For those that like adding a little bit of a back bend, left arm up. Don't com compromise your twist. Keep twisting to the right. Inhale, warrior. Exhale, chakra. Go through your knees. Pay attention to your breath. So the left foot, or your one. Reach the arms slowly, steady, coming. Take a few breaths here. So the heart twists to the left. Enough. Right arm back, taking a bit of a back bend into the twist. Gentle, just warming up here. Vina Patrasana, warrior. Excellent. Chaturanga Dandasana. Few breaths. If you ever need a child's pose, keep child's pose. And you're in down and down. Otherwise, breathe. For some of us, this is a resting pose. For some of us, this is quite challenging. Wherever you are is fine. Allow your mind to deal with it in a way that is steady and with ease. Look between the hands, jump forward. Length of the spine. Stay halfway, jump back, out of the Inhale, shine, feel the love, the gratitude, the joy of opening your heart and your back. Exhale, down, down. Right foot forward, joy. And go for B2. Hands come to the heart. Right foot moves to the right. Clasp the hands. If your shoulders are a bit tight, take a strap, a sweatshirt, something 
So your hands can have some distance as you can see the hands are behind me. Inhale, grow tall. And exhale, coming forward. If you hit the shoulder arm to the knee, try to come to the inside of the knee as much as possible. Let your head release down. Move your arms over the head. Stay with breath. If it's easy enough, square your hips. Power the back leg in. Inhale, rise all the way up to the morning. Exhale slowly. Hands down to the waist. Chaturanga. You can do that again. Chest forward, not just up. Exhale down the back. Here we go. Left foot forward. Right heel down. Slowly reach the arms. Climbing up. And slowly down to the heart. Left foot moves to the left. Hands go behind the back. Clasp your inhale. Right. Then exhale. Maybe through water or oil. You can't brush it too much. Breathing. Power in the back leg and the front leg. Inhale, rise all the way, warrior. Gaze follows your hands. Exhale. Watch your hands as they come back down. Slowly lower down. Activate your lower belly in. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward. Down. I'm going to take a moment to rest in either a squat pose or a crow. So some of you are going to come forward and just rest in the squat. Some of you are going to place the hands down. And just shift the weight forward. Keep the gaze forward. Looking forward as you begin to lift up. If you've managed to lift up, you straighten the arms and lift the heels up. There we go. Two more breaths. One more breath. Step or jump back and try to run. Inhale, happiness. Step down. Last round of work. Right foot foot. Left heel. Slow and steady as you come up. Really slow and steady. Gaze is at the right hand. Open slow motion warrior two. Two breaths here. the warrior. Maintain the breath. Keep the body sideways. Stretch the right side of the body. See if you can stretch a bit the left side of the body. Warrior two. Extended side angle. Feel free to start with elbow on the thigh. If available, hand to the outside of the right foot. Twist your chest to the sky. Try to look under your armpit to the sky. You know, look at the hand, that's fine too. That opens the chest, it's nice. As long as it doesn't crunch your neck too much. Back up, warrior two. Stretching to the front leg. If you need to shorten a bit the stance, that's okay. Reach forward, Vikonasana, trying. If it's longer stance, it's a younger style, that's okay as well. Left arm wraps behind the back. I really use that to open the shoulder more and more and more. I take the gaze down, you don't have to, it's a little easier. And we're going to shift to Ardha Chandrasana half moon. So come forward. For most of us, the right hand will be on the ground or maybe even on a block. If it's easy enough, you can work on the right hand into half moon. It's okay to keep the standing leg, the right leg slightly bending. Activate the left leg and breathe. Slow motion, we return to warrior two. Gaze four. Exhale, chaturanga the muscle. Inhale, hug. Exhale, down. 
done with it. Left foot forward, right heel, slow and steady to the right side. Please set the left hand, slow motion, open the right foot. Feel the right hip opening as well as the left. Extend it side angle. And remember, elbow on the thigh is completely fine. And down optional. Really feel your right rib cage arcing up towards the sky. Activating the outer edge of the right foot, the back foot. Back up to warrior two. Straighten the front back. Reaching forward with your gunas. Wrap alicious. Balance, maybe gaze down, shift the weight forward, activate the right leg, barely tucks in, hands can be down, maybe into the, towards the heart space. Reaching back into warrior two. Look between the hands, step or jump the feet to the front. Lengthen halfway. And go ahead and take the feet apart, about hip width. And any forward fold you like. You can easily Hold the elbows here, that's wonderful. Or clasp the two fingers or the toes. Staying here, a few more breaths. The hands bend the knees a lot and let the wave start to roll up. And with the Good. And so then the foot or um, um, Prasarita Parutanasana. So we're going to go and take uh, Prasarita A. And uh, yeah, we have a case of a hamstring injury today, so that's great. You can see how we'll deal with that. Inhale then. Exhale, forward, forward, hands down to the mat. And so yeah, if for any reason you can't do it, you can take goddess pose, as Kasha is doing right behind you. For those of you down, legs are close to straight or straight, elbows move in towards each other, really press the head down towards the ground. Press the head, it does not have to touch. We're working towards it, mine touched, so I narrow my stance. So the place where it's not exactly touching, because now I have what to work towards. I'll stay here a few more breaths. Then inhale, lengthen the spine. Take the right hand towards the left ankle. Try to bring the right elbow towards the ground. You can take the left hand anywhere onto the opposite leg. It may not reach there, but if it does, then hallelujah. That would be, so you can keep the knees down. Okay. Shaking is normal. Breathing is normal. Awareness of breath is not normal for all of us. Can you maintain the awareness? 
in the front switch. First the left hand, that's most important. The right hand, even if it's on the ground, that's fine. You can reach beautiful, you can beautiful. If you have breath, you're beautiful. Lengthen. Hands to the hips. Inhale, rise all the way up. Let's come to the front of the mat. Take it away. Well, we're going to step the right foot back, Parshvatanasana. Hands either hold the elbows or if you can, take the reverse namaste behind the back. Inhale, grow tall. And exhale as you start to lower down slowly. The chest reaches forward. The tailbone, the coccyx, the hips move back to create space. Space for the back. So you can breathe still, fully, nice, deep, wiggling maybe the hands a bit higher. Elbows go towards the ceiling. One day the heel of the hand touch. Is the right knee. Some of you may be able to hold the other edge of the right foot, right arm behind the foot. You feel steady enough? Take your gaze down. Good. Gaze to the front, hands to the hips. Hold the foot a few more breaths up. Just put four. Good news. Good news. So let's do that another side, people. Here we go. Left foot steps up. The hips turn to the front. The hands go behind the back, either elbows or if you can, reverse on the stay. Inhale, left. Exhale, forward. You keep feeling the hips moving back as the chest and chin forward. Drishti gaze is technically towards the toes, but anywhere that helps you lengthen the spine is good. We'll get to the foot. If nobody does, it doesn't matter, right? Left hand back, twisting. Maybe gaze back, breathing. Face to the front. Hands to the hippies. Left leg forward, up. Breathe. Release. Shake it away, shake it away, shake it away. Okay, there. And uh, one more twist before we go to the ground. So we're going to go for revolve extended side angle. We'll start with Katasana. Turn to your right side. And try to twist here as deeply as you can. I'm really pushing, trying to get the armpit towards the knee. I'm going to open left hand down to the ground, right hand on the tailbone. Step the left foot far back. If you'd rather have the hands in namaste, that's fine. If you'd rather have the back knee down, that's fine. Some of you will take the full pose. Right arm over the head. Back heel for most of us will stay up. Few of us will lower it down. Breathing three, two, one. You can bring the right hand back onto the hip. Left foot steps forward. Back into Utkatasana. Twisting to the second side. 
again, use the left hand even to press so you can get the armpit that closer to the knee, right hand down, maybe, maybe at the heart, right foot steps back. Stay here or any variation that you take, right? Left arm over the head, and stay at the heart, back knee can be down, or the full pose with the back heel down. Breathing either way. Left hand goes back to the tailbone, right foot steps forward, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Instead of jumping back, try to jump a little bit up, almost like you were going to do a half handstand on the way. Doesn't have to be high, it could be two centimeters the norm. Up and back. Upward facing deliciousness. Downward face. Coming forward to planky. Lower down the forearms to the ground. Let's chill out here for a moment if you can. Practice the hands the same width as your elbows, which are the same width as your shoulders. Since this is challenging for some, you can lower the knees when you need to take a break. If it's easy enough, right foot up. Try to keep it not too high up, just hip high. Or smiles. Switch legs. Feet down, hold just a little bit longer. We're almost there. Advanced students breathe. Very advanced students smile. Lower down to your belly. Shavasana for two full breaths. Arms alongside the body. Chest up, legs up, Shalabhasana. You can keep the hands down, palms facing up as in Ashtanga. If you'd like Vinyasa style, clasp the hands, lift a bit high. Consider breathing. Stand a few more breaths. Those that have the back feeling good today, reach the arms forward. If you have any injury in the lower back, please avoid this. You need to rest, lower down. Let your face remain in the Sthiram Sukham steadiness and ease. Two more breaths, lift a bit higher, and relax down. Move your hips a bit from side to side. Let yourself release. Go ahead and bend the knees. Reach the hands back, either feet, if it's easy enough, lower down towards the ankles or shins. And then lift the legs first, chest next, Danyurasana, both hips. Breathing. Down. Lift the hips a bit from side to side. You guys are doing great. We're almost there. The hardest is kind of behind us. Okay. Let's throw in one more stretch here. Right arm to the right side. And a little shoulder stretch. Start to roll onto your shoulder. Maybe, maybe left foot on the neck. Very maybe left hand behind you eventually. Even towards the other hand. It really doesn't matter holding the hands as long as you can feel your, your shoulder stretches all the way. You get to see it from both sides. The 
this is where you kind of dropped into the breath and you're really feeling gratitude. Wow, I got some shoulders going, right? And so it's really a place of yumminess. There's no, why are my shoulders tight? It's more like, thank you shoulders for allowing me to stretch you. And the shoulders in return, some of you can actually listen to those little self receptors. They're saying, thank you for taking care of us. They're not who you are, they're part of you. Don't mix them up. Let's switch arms. Here we go. So again, taking the arm to the side. Starting to roll, maybe one foot on the ground, maybe two feet on the ground. Hips move a bit to the opposite side of the arms. Doron, what do we do with the head? Oh yeah, some of you can place a block under, some of you the head touches the ground. I just leave it dangling there, it's sure. Not the most comfortable, but not the end of the world. It's kind of a bit of a neck stretch in a way, breathing. We're going to eventually return back to center. And if you need a little break, rest in child's pose. Otherwise, left with us. One more cobra, cobra. Shoulders back, chest forward. Mm. It's really get a bit of the space. But yeah. Into downward dog. Let's all come forward and down to the knees. We're going to do our back bends. Today we're going to do them on the knees. Sometimes we do them on the back. Keep your knees about hip width apart. I'll show you quickly a few options so you can work on them. So either way, your hands start at the hips. Chest lifts, belly in, and you start to go back. This can be it for today. This is plenty. And keep the chest up. You'll feel it already. For those of you that there's an option to go further back, Hand, one hand or maybe the both hands, reaching to the heels, hips forward, chest up. A little more intense, toes untucked, walking the hands either to the heels or eventually down to the feet. Notice that I compromised my hips, so I'm going to move my hips back forward and chest up. And to come up, I'm going to lift up head last and rest in child's pose or take a vinyasa. Let's try this together. Come up onto your knees. Hands to the hips, belly and chest up, lift, high up, and then start to bend back while you're still lifting. Hands either stay on the knees, on the hips, or go down to the heels, toes untucked, or toes tucked a little easier. Once you're in the pose, maintain the breath, maintain softness in the eyes, and move the hips a bit forward if there's room for that. Two more breaths. Come out, the lower back starts to lift, chest, head is flat. Again, feel free to take a child's pose or take a vinyasa, whatever feels right for you. You can see my ninja crew there taking the vinyasas. Hopefully that inspires you. And then we're going to come forward again to the knees and do round two. Repeating what you just did is awesome. Any one of these three options, right, hips, Toes tucked or toes untucked. For those that the last one, toes untucked, was relatively easy in this group, you can keep lifting in the chest, hands maybe, like a Vajrasana, hands maybe behind the knees, or even one day on the knees. And you just slow it down to wherever you can hold. Hold for five, six breaths, come up. Full pose, head reaches down to the ground. Hold here, and after the five breaths, pressing the toes down, lifting up and resting with child's pose. Let's give it a try. So again, either repeating what you did before, which is super duper awesome, there's no need to go further, or if you are going for towards the level of Vajrasana, as you can see, Dan, repeating, beautiful, Asha going towards the level, and that's exactly it. You go down two thirds, three quarters, however much you can, and then you press the toes down, activate the quads to come up, everybody. Either child's pose, 
or A, I'll join a vinyasa as well. Do what's right for you. We'll take our last one. And so for this last one, we're going to either, again, repeat one of the plenty options we offer, or a final option, chest lifts up, hands are at the heart, and maybe just staying here. This is quite intense. Arms over the head, way intense. Hands down to the ground, not for everybody. Elbows in. Working on straightening the arms. Plenty. Staying here. And then to come up, I bend. Give myself a bit momentum. And rise. Give it a try. Again, give it a try means give it a try. Whatever position was correct for you. Possibly it's remaining with the first one. Some of the stuff we're doing here today is quite advanced. Please always follow what's right for you today. Don't push beyond it. Not worth getting injured. And back up. And let's all take a child's pose. Take your knees apart. Let your arms come forward. Stretch your spine long. Relax completely. Let's all take a vinyasa, coming forward, plank, lower chaturanga. Inhale, remember the happiness, the gratitude, and exhale down, we're done. Beautiful, let's come forward to our seats. We'll take a seated twist. Left leg forward, marichyasana seat. Right foot is on the ground, and we're gonna twist to the right, taking the armpit as close as possible to the leg, right arm behind you. Plenty of variations here. As you can see, we already are showing you three different points. Right? Dan is showing you the sitting on the block. If your spine rounds, if your sitting bones are not equally both on the ground, please, please sit on a block. You'll actually get a much healthier twist. I'm showing you the middle variation. Left leg is straight, my right hand is up, and I'm twisting to the right. Pastor is showing you the binded version, right? Where you go behind and left hand will hold, hold right wrist and breathing there. A couple more breaths. Coming to center. Your choice to vinyasa or not to vinyasa. Not really a question in Ashtanga. We always vinyasa. Then through to your seat. Right foot straight. Left knee is bending, twisting over to the left. Quiz. And I don't know where you're watching this video, but if there's a place to leave a comment, let me know what the answer is. In Ashtanga, do we always twist to one side first? If yes, which side is it? If no, what are the exceptions? Breathe. Right foot is active, spine constantly lifts with the inhale. Every exhale, twisting a bit deeper. Okay, vinyasa. Again, if you really need to skip these vinyasa, please do. I'm just encouraging you, not forcing you, right? Coming to seated forward fold, jump through. We'll take the left leg forward and we'll take the right foot. Your choice. You can have it to the inner left thigh. Maybe, maybe you have it in half lotus. Either way is fine. If it's a bit intense, sit on a block and or bend the left knee. Forward fold. If you have any uh, hamstring injury, really bend a lot in the left knee and just go down a little bit. Really work more on lengthening in the spine than going deep. You need to skip it all together and do about a panasana instead. That's fine too. Switching legs.
both legs in front of you. You may need to bend deeper in the knees. It's almost like you're pulling your sternum, your middle of the chest forward, reaching the crown of the head forward. Trishti just a bit forward. It may land at different areas of your leg depending on your flexibility, but a little bit of forward just helps you elongate a little more in the spine. Relax the shoulders, relax the eyes. Take shoulder stand. In case you're not taking shoulder stand, you can place a block under. If you rather take head stand instead, we'll do only one today, so you can choose. Rolling the shoulders under, you can do it while you're in plow pose, that may be easier. Reaching the feet up, 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 tightening the belly in, and breathing. The elbows keep moving in towards each other, keeping the breath alive. Most importantly, try to keep your gaze or drishti steady, one point. Slowly begin to bend the, to hinge at the hips, taking the legs over the head. And maybe just part way, right? I'm stopping here halfway. This is good for me right now. Some of you can clasp the hands and bring the clasped hands towards the mat. Over time, some of you will reach the toes to the ground. If your toes reach the ground, and that's easy. You can even untuck the toes, toenails towards the ground. Just two breaths here to deep forward fold. And then go ahead and bend the knees towards the ears. And however far you go is fine. You don't have to go very deep. Work towards it. Gravity is helping you here. And we're slowly going to release the hands, place them flat on the mat, and slow and steady lower down. Not too slow, but definitely not too fast. And if you can, you're lowering down the straight legs. If that doesn't work, you bend the knees. Once your legs reach down, you lift up the chest, you prop up onto your elbows, and you reach the head to the ground. Variations of fish, you're doing a kind of the asana today, so optional staying with the legs down, optional legs up, very optional hands up, palms together towards the toes. Breathing, throat stretching. Lower down, bring the knees to the chest, give yourself a nice big hug. And take a little shavasana here. So release the legs straight. If you're at home and you want to throw in another supine twist, you can. Otherwise, just release down to the ground. Let your feet relax, let your shoulders relax. Let your eyes close. Nothing more to do. No need even for an active Ujjayi breath. Let it begin to soften. Allowing yourself to melt away. Consciousness becomes light.
needs in the community first. And however they was to figure in that together in front of the heart, one more moment of gratitude for this life, for this breath, for this body of yours, injured or not, that can do all that it can do. Make today a day of gratitude. Maybe set an intention for one thing that you'll notice extra, something as simple as flushing the toilet or opening the faucet. And every time you'll stop for one quick second to feel the gratitude for these little miracles that we have in our lives that we so often take for granted. And to the closing chant. all for your practice with us. For those of you that want, we have the chants on doronyoga.com. The chants are there. You can read them, chant with us, them, practice them so you can join us here for the next one. Have a beautiful day. Thank you.